Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the first ever Finn Sports po- Podcast. I am your host, Rodrigo, and I'm here to tell you about the game between the Los Angeles Raiders and your Miami Dolphins. Um, again, this game was uh, a game that will take the win. A win is a win. I think everyone is expecting Miami just to dominate everyone. And if not, it won't be a good game. But let's just go over the game real quick. Um, It didn't start out good. We started out with a fumble. And that put us behind three points. Um, Miami came back, scored a touchdown. And then Las Vegas came back and scored a touchdown in the first quarter. After that, the rest of the game, the Raiders only got a field goal the rest of the way. So let me take you to the keys of today's game and some of the things that we definitely need to clean up. But more importantly, here's the things that happened today that I thought we did good. Um, Let's start off with what won the game, the defense. The defense played outstanding. Um, The defense, we allowed 39 rushing yards by Josh Jacobs on 14 carries. Phenomenal. That was the key to the game, if you ask me. We made Las Vegas one-dimensional, and they didn't have the firepower to to get through our secondary. And since we made them one-dimensional, well, Jalen Ramsey came up with two interceptions because everyone knew they were throwing, and so the defense just went off. Um, Adversely, the offense was not being stopped. Tua, 325 yards passing. Tyreek Hill, 146 on 10 catches. Ladies and gentlemen, the Dolphins dominated the game. And the defense dominated after the second quarter on. Defense was not going to give up anything. Even when we were giving up fumbles in our own 30s. We gave up two fumbles in our own territory. That did not matter. The defense was on a mission today. And uh, I thought Jalen Phillips was all over the place. He got two sacks. But I thought the contribution of Chubb was as important. His presence, the the run defense, was tremendous. And with that being said, Let's talk about <clears throat> the injuries. Um, A-chain, or A-chain, as I like to call him, um, Devon A-chain, um, he was hurt again. And I'm starting to wonder whether he's going to be able to hold up for an NFL season. He was hurt in the preseason. He was hurt after a few games. And now he's hurt again. And we just can't get him the ball and we can't get him to stay healthy because he's such a lethal weapon and we're not going to be able to use him. So um, I don't know if he's he's going to hold up to an NFL uh, season or the NFL pounding uh, that's on running backs. And uh, it's unfortunate because he's such a big talent, right? But... Um, that's Devon A. Chain. Um, the offense, when I think about the offense, people are going to criticize the offense for not scoring enough points. But if you look at the game, we should have scored 30 points. We had a missed field goal and we had a red zone fourth down where, um, according to Mike McDaniel after the game, the, the play should have been designed without the, the fake handoff uh, that extra second allowed the defense to get to Tyreek and so that's what happened in that play um, I thought the offensive line held up well with the exception of Eichenberg I saw there was leakage in the middle of the line and uh, unfortunately you know Eichenberg is doing his best but he was not he was not holding his ground, and Tua 
had to take off on a couple plays and uh, fortunately no major damage was done but uh, hopefully we'll get uh, Robert Hunt back next week uh, on Friday against the Jets and hopefully we can we can get that done so all in all um, Tua was really harsh on himself after the game I thought you know when you look at the box score 325 two touchdowns one interception and honestly the interception is more like a punt um, and not to make any excuses for him but he was he was doing whatever he wanted out there um, the you know, with Raheem balancing the run game, Raheem had another good game, 88 yards. A lot of commentators were saying that he was hurt, but he ran, he ran like a dog today, and uh, he played like a dog today. So, uh, lots of props to Raheem for keeping the balance on the offense. If we don't have a running game, we become too predictable. So it's important that the Dolphins uh, do that. Um, the last thing I want to talk about and you know just to finish the las vegas raiders they're a different team uh with this new coach they're they definitely believe in themselves and even though deep inside i knew they didn't have a shot they um they kept coming and they didn't give up and so you know the other team gets paid too and so we got to give credit to the las vegas raiders um, for the for the performance they gave, um, <laughs> if you notice, uh, the coach he started out in a sweater, and by the second half he was already in a t-shirt. Um, it was hot out there, and I thought our defense was getting tired towards the fourth quarter. Uh, we just got to get I think more rotations. We got to get Agba in there. We got to get some other players to keep uh, Jalen fresh. And uh, all in all really good game i thought you know the defensive backs played phenomenal x uh javon and uh deshaun got burnt on the touchdown by uh <clears throat> Devonte adams um don't know exactly what happened it looks like he fell in the play but uh they were able to overcome uh that big long play i think that was the longest play that this defense given up um, in, in, in the passing attack. So, uh, normally we're, we're really good at keeping everything in front of us. Uh, but this week did not happen again. This is the fan sports podcast. This is our first video. Um, I hope you like the review of the game and we'll be doing more in week inter uh, podcast. Uh, we'll do pre games. We'll do, uh, even live events, uh, in the future. Uh, so if you like this kind of content, if you like the Miami Dolphins, or even if you don't like the Miami Dolphins, but you want to hear the perspective of our team, please click on that like button, subscribe, and uh, ends up. See you guys tomorrow. <laughs>